Welcome back. So we have mainly cloudy skies. We made our way through the day today. And high temperatures actually did reach the mid 40s, but we had a strong northerly wind. So temperatures have since fallen, most of us now into the upper 30s with the mainly cloudy skies. Let's take a look at the current temperature in North Platte as we are at 37 degrees. But the wind is north northwest. To, uh, 29 to 39 miles per hour, so it is uh, pretty windy out there. Temperatures across the region look like this. 35 at Ogallala, Imperial, Lexington. Uh, Mid-30s also at Broken Bow with a 33 right now at Valentine. There's your wind right now. Uh, sustained around uh, 25 to 30 miles per hour with that north-northwesterly flow. Let's take a look at the strongest wind gusts across the region and some areas 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts out there. So uh, at taking a look at the Doppler radar, we did have some rain showers uh, moving into our eastern counties by the afternoon, turning over to some snow showers, but they are exiting our viewing area right now as most of us do have mainly cloudy skies. Now across the country, this is the second of our two weather systems that are going to affect us. This one has moved into the uh, north, or the um, northern plains and then eventually into the Midwest with some rain up in that direction. We're tracking this Colorado low right now that will move to its east and give us the possibility of not only uh, some snow showers, but a strong northerly wind behind it will really cool us off as we progress through the midweek period. So let's take a look at the uh, alerts because of this. Now, as you make your way from Perkins County to Southern Lincoln County to Dawson County, we do have have a winter weather advisory. It does go into effect at noon on Wednesday and it lasts all the way until 6 a.m. Central Time on Thursday. As you make your way further south of that, the counties that border Kansas in a winter storm warning until 6 a.m. Central Time on Thursday. Now let's take a look at the uh, timing of this on the skycast. We will just keep mainly cloudy skies and windy northerly winds as we go through the evening. We should stay mainly dry as temperatures fall into the upper 20s. We'll have lows near 20 starting off your Wednesday. Now by Wednesday afternoon, there's the snow and it's basically going to set up from I-80 and points off to the south. The further south towards the Kansas border you get, the heavier and the steadier the snow will be. High temperatures for your Wednesday will be into the lower 20s and the snow will be heavy and steady. Uh, as we make our way through the late evening, tapering off by the overnight as the system pumps in even uh, cooler winds with uh, low temperatures into the low to mid teens. And then we're right back to sunshine by Thursday, but we will be in a cool air mass even with a light westerly wind, highs in the low to mid 30s across the region. Here's a look at the snowfall potential. Now from North Platte, Ogallala, Southern Custer County, you can see the area of uh, uh, we'll say light blue. That's the one to three inch range. Now, as you make your way further south, where they do have that winter weather advisory from Perkins to Southern Lincoln uh, to Dawson County, they are into the three to six inch range and uh, could be as much as six to nine inches as you make your way from Imperial, Curtis, even uh, the uh, Dawson and Gosper County border and points off to the south towards the Kansas border. Now, uh, here's a look at the wide view. Uh, and you can see this is basically going to go across the Colorado, Kansas, and Nebraska border with those moderate to even heavy amounts of snow approaching Iowa. But once again, it looks like the North Platte area will be on the northern fringe of this as there's going to be a very sharp cutoff uh, and um, it, it takes uh, North Platte in the one to three inch range. Then we start to uh, have more sunshine. Mid 30s become mid 40s for Friday, upper 40s on Saturday. Lots of sunshine through Sunday, a high of 53. And by next Monday and Tuesday, another system that will give us some rain and snow showers as temperatures fall back into the lower 30s. We'll be back after this. You know what the number one best-selling book in the world